grand rising to my king queen goddess and goddesses it is your boy terrible one star gotta break it down to them virgo sun moon rising north node and venus now disclaimer this is a general reading so take it as it resonate and if it does resonate for you make sure you hit that like comment subscribe button now not only that yay if i didn't all right, look, Virgo, 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 the major, major, major announcement, okay? Now, this is something that's really, really going to be significant for you, so I'm kind of happy this is the first time I ever felt a reading like this in a long time, like since I first started. So, something major is coming your way, Virgo. Take it as it resonates, okay? Now, some of you may have been staying in your own lane, okay? Some of you may have been progressing. Not only that, I feel like you're getting out of being isolated and sad, and you're uh, more focused on higher expectations right now. I feel like some of you are reaching more for growth, more for clarity. Now, not only that, I feel like some of you are transitioning and finally leaving things from behind. Now, take it as it resonates. So, Virgo, I feel like you are starting to be in a more new adventurous state, Virgo. And with that basically being said, everything is coming out righteous for you. Now, the way you carry yourself is expensive is inspiring so many other people around you. People you don't even notice are being inspired about the way how you walk, the way how you grow, the way how you progress, the way how you go through challenges and just go through it so gracefully. Now, they do not know, like, behind the scenes, Virgo, you may be mentally stressed out. You may be feeling drained. You may be feeling kind of like a little anguish. That's the best word. I, I, I guess I can say spirit just want me to say anguish. So, uh... I need to look that up anyway. So with that basically being said, so I feel like you're no longer turning the eye upon yourself, Virgo, and that is very, very beautiful. Now, not only that, uh, I feel like also emotionally, the cycle is kind of being a little draining and all of this and other stuff. So um, basically, is basically, I had to get anguish definition, so let's keep going. So hold on to the temper, Virgo, okay? I feel like some of you may are still watching and this can help you dealing with uh, some promotions or some ascension, okay? But anguish, severe mental or physical pain or suffering, okay? So I feel like, yeah, the way that you are walking on the way how you may have been feeling that you're progressing on is very anguishing. So with that basically being said, let's keep going. So I feel like new things are coming in for you, something huge. Now this can be some, for some of you, new love coming in for for some of you, new opportunities coming in, a message is coming up uh, for you for prosperity. Uh, not only that, a promotion, a gift, a vacation, uh, something that's gonna be very, very major that's gonna uplift your vibrations even more, Virgo, okay? Okay. Now, keep striving towards your growth, uh, for positive growth, and let your dreams and desire be fulfilled, okay? It's time for you to manifest whatever you dream and desire. Just make sure you know how to do it in detail, okay, Virgo? Now, Spirit is protecting you on this journey, but the only thing that can change this right now is yourself. So, let's go ahead and see what this major, major, huge abundance is going on in everything in life, okay? So, again, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get into prayer. Then, we get into meditation. Very, very brief for the new for the new subs and the new watchers. So we trying to get our chakras and everything aligned so we can get the message correctly. OK, so let's go ahead in a prayer first. Spirit guys in the universe. I thank you right now for every Virgo or anyone who's coming on the channel. Lead them, guide them, give them the prosperity and understanding of everything that's going on as a blueprint. Now, not only that, anybody wish any ill will, negativity, any harm, any slander, anything that's negative is not suitable for Virgo or the mental capabilities towards their highest good, we're going to release that and we're going to send that back to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe, Ashe, Amo. Now, let's go ahead and get into meditation. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy. Positive light. Towards our highest good. Hold it. Release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns that no longer suit you. We're letting it go. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy, positive light, full understanding towards your highest good. Hold it. Release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Keep your mind clear, Virgo. One more time. Hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns, anything that no longer suits you, Virgo. We're finally letting that go to the universe and abundance of love as well. Ashe, Ashe, Amo. All right, let's go ahead and get on up into it. Spirit guys in the universe, what is the current energy about this? Ooh. Spirit guys in the universe, what is this huge offer that's coming in for Virgo? Tell us what's coming in huge for Virgo. So I'm going to rise in North Node and Venus. What else is coming in for Virgo? Ashe, can I get two more, please? 
Ashe, can I do one more, please? Ashe. All right, Virgo, what you don't, I think I seen one flip. So I feel like right now, again, you're no longer being isolated, sad about a situation or something that's coming in that was kind of uh, the Virgo energy. So I feel like not only that, you finding some type of clarity. Something's coming in good for you. Something coming in abundant, you finally understand how it's going, okay? So Virgo, this is what we got, okay? Y'all ready? So we got the Levels card basically being a writer's the main energy. It's something that you are compassionate about. Something that you are loving. Uh, this can be you. This can be someone. This can be some place or this is something but it's healing you Virgo it's bringing you into your full abundance and fruition dealing with your emotions now it is clarified by the three of pentacles upright two of pentacles upright and a knight of swords basically being in reverse so I feel like this person could be a Virgo uh, Libra cusp or it could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus but we'll break it down to see a little bit more this is not about what it is it's about the energy okay now with that basically being said I feel like you being in a perfect match and a perfect ba uh, balance Virgo for something that's coming in for you it may be building a relationship with someone it may be building a uh, more friendships and partnerships for uh, financial growth or not only that, it's something that's maybe stable, it may be collaborations with people on the educational higher, higher purposes but whatever this is Virgo, I feel like you loving whatever's coming in or, or what's going on right now, okay? Not only that with the two of pentacles, I feel like even though you are loving yourself you being more in a balance of everything that's going on, you also got to understand you in a perfect match, you in a great self with collaborations, not only that I feel like it's kind of challenging for the decisions that you are making. But whenever you make this decision, Virgo, it's going to be a very stable one. This is going for fruition and your stability. This is the actions that you are taking place to start being more fruition. OK, now, when I see the two, the pen two of pinnacle basically being all right, I feel like things are starting to change for you and you are allowing it to change, Virgo. I feel like you start being more perceptive and analytical about what's going on and thinking more logically. Now, with the Knight of Swords basically being in reverse, it is letting me know you still feeling like you can't trust people and you still have not a little courage about is this supposed to be really for me or not okay Virgo let me go and break it down for you yes it is so let's go ahead and get some clarifications of what's going on right now and then we can go farther on okay Virgo so sure guys in the universe what else do we have for Virgo Sun Moon Rising North Node and Venus Ashe so what do we have for the three of Pentacles for Virgo Sun Moon Rising North Node and Venus Ashe and then what do we have for Okay. Now, Virgo, I'm going to put that to the side. Them are bonus cards. I'm going to leave them out. Spirit said leave them out for a reason, okay? I'm going to take this one this way, that way, that way. Okay. Here we go, Virgo. Now, again, a good match, a good pair of something that you're being compassionate about or something that you are loving is finally coming in fruition or something that you desire that may be coming in your way. Now, it could be a potential partnership or some of you can be doing business aspects where everything feeling lovely and, and new contracts, new collaborations. Some of you can be artists, uh, whatever your career is, take it as it resonates. But I feel like you being more in action and more in pursuit with this new effort or the new energy that you are holding towards your dreams and desires, towards your wants and your needs. But now, now not only that, I also feel like you're expressing yourself abundantly. And I feel like the choices that you're making right now, you're allowing things to change for yourself, Virgo. You're looking at the pros and cons, and the choices that you're making is, is kind of like avoiding you from hitting this tower moment, or somebody may be around you with this type of energy. Or I feel like it's something surprising or some type of breakdown is coming through for you in an abundance, in a positive way. Now, normally, Virgo, when I see it, uh, normally when I think about the tower card, it does mean like divine breakdown or something going down through or you understand it but it also means um now uh it also means surprising events so i feel like the choices that you make may be surprising to you but again with the page of swords being in reverse you also got to understand that maybe it's a surprising because maybe you starting to be more aware about somebody who's maybe trying to be manipulative or something logically in your mind is not coming fast enough now also spirit also want me to tell you with the will of fortune basically being in reverse excuse me that you are changing your way and you accepting destiny for what it is so i feel like if some okay it's ways to say this okay Virgo so I feel like if you single I feel like you came into a perfect match or 
Uh, not only that, I feel like more collaboration is coming in for you. You are walking in the action and you are making the most valid choices. Try to stay away from a tower moment or you are turning around seeing the choices that is going on. And it's going something new or interesting, very shocking is coming in mentally, not fast enough, but it's going to be a way so you can accept it for where, what it is. So this is the current energy. I feel like it's something like even when it comes to relationships or anything in type of that moment. Now, I feel like for a few, it will sometimes of breakup that you went through or some type of reconciliation period for the others now for the ones that went through a breakup i feel like you uh starting to expand or starting to date starting expressing yourself a little bit more and you got a choice that you need to make so you won't mentally break down inside your mind or something something surprisingly is going to come in and take action but it's not going to be overwhelming as you think but you're going to look at it and change for what it is now if it's a couple type of situations the same rules apply i feel like uh you in union with somebody and that or you may be talking to for something that's fresh now for uh, that you're talking to this person and you are starting to uh, grow and start to expand and starting to build a trust within one another and the way that you are walking y'all are walking and expressing yourselves in action now not only that I feel like the choices that maybe both of you are taking y'all both allowing to see things uh, and adapt far as uh, the up and down roads in a situation even with tower moments or even something that's surprisingly come out of nowhere now I also understand that uh, maybe you need to watch out for manipulation or in that type of play but I feel like something within this tower moment is gonna bring you more closer to the surface of what's coming in okay so some of you could be having a tower moment that be going in it could be a little messy for some take that as it resonate now for the other ones uh, it can help you build some something that you wanted to build and take that as a resonate but mainly what I'm saying you are basically accepting destiny for what it is so there's so many ways to go with this reading but let's go ahead and get a little bit more okay now the two bonus cards right here I also feel like Virgo that you need to find out some type of understanding and make sure nobody is not trying to be deceptive but I feel like right now this can be you mostly mentally in your mind and three with the three of wands basically being in reverse is letting me know right now if whoever you may be for some of you it may be in discord or you may not be talking to this person right now but uh I feel like more things is coming in fruition with this if with this mate let's say it like that or with this opportunity or with this type of energy that's bringing in okay take it as a resonate because it's going like so many different ways with this Virgo so let's keep pushing oh goodness spirit God saying the universe what do we have for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Moon, and Venus. What else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Moon, and Venus. I say, can I get one more clue for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Moon, and Venus. Yep, here we go, Virgo. Now, two of swords in reverse, right? Letting me know deception, understanding. You still got to get some type of understanding about whatever this is from the past or some type of reoccurring cycle energy. Now, again, with the Empress basically being uh, in reverse, it is something that's controlling you mentally, uh, something that's controlling your mindset, okay? But you got to get it together, Virgo. Don't feel like you are unhappy. Now, not only that, I feel like something may be uh, blinding you or, or you may be in some type of fantasy land or in some type of ego right now, okay, Virgo? Now, even though people have been deceptive to Towards you, even though you done seen that deception, even though it was a tower moment or whatever that came through, you done understood about the manipulation and you changed to seeing what it is. But in order for this to come in good for you, Virgo, you gotta also understand the logical standpoint. You gotta change yourself mentally and don't be blindsided by anything because you're more intuitive now. Now, even though things again is gonna come to the surface, don't make sure you uh don't disconnect yourself from spirit, okay? Make sure you get the knowledge that you need because if you don't, it's gonna block you with spirituality and block you within yourself so make sure you take the transition with the six of pentacles basically being in reverse and make sure the needs are being met before you have fear of not doing nothing at all virgo and that will put you in a mental blockage now spirit guides and the universe what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus i say what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus i say can i get one more please thank you now virgo I feel like right now, again, anybody with this control of energy or anything that's disconnecting you right now, uh, you got to get the understanding. Don't let it deceive you. Uh, don't be deceptive about this information. Uh, also, uh, when I turn around and look at the Emperor's card basically being in reverse, I feel like your crown is being upside down or some of your chakras are being blocked. So you need to find the right time when the moon card is in reverse and feel like you need to release this type of fear of doing nothing because it can block you spiritually, okay? This is some of the problems that may be coming in 
again before this huge blessing. Now, not only that, with the Knight of Wands basically being in reverse, is also letting me know, like, protect your heart. Don't be egotistical. Just make sure you stand firm in whatever this situation is that's what you're compassionate for, okay? Now, even though sometimes you may feel like it's something, some type of imbalance, nobody's not listening. It's, it's a one-sided situation or something that's one-sided. You got to understand, Virgo, if you keep moving in harmony, you will be victorious in this. Now, mentally in your mind, you got to keep your mindset together and don't feel like you're having an imbalance with the stability that's what's going on in your life and make sure you walk in your victory. Make sure you walk in your recognition because you're being noticed and recognized and this is something that's very, very beautiful for you, okay? Now, spirit guides and the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? Summer wise and North Moon and Venus. Ashe, can I get Ashe? Can I get one more? Ashe. All right, Virgo, hold on now. Now, Spirit woman to tell you, make sure you keep your vision and be that entrepreneur you is because uh, something's coming in for you. And what I feel like is coming in is the actions that you are taking place towards the abundance and towards a huge prosperity for you. Now, this can be mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, financially. Take it as it resonates because this is for you and your mindset at this time to manifest what you need to manifest. So with the King of Wands basically being upright, the actions and the willpower you are taking is phenomenal, okay? Now, you also got to understand, be keep that vision straight, be that entrepreneur, take that step, that step and leap, leap of faith and continue to push on down the mission. Now, with the Knight of Wands basically being in reverse spirit, also want me to tell you as well that don't, uh, make sure you protect yourself. Uh... Spirit guys got you protected. Don't be egotistical because it can't, like, your biggest enemy is yourself within this, okay? Now, also acknowledge anything that is toxic or enslaving or something that's mentally is not suitable for you, okay, Virgo? Because the reason is it's time for the cycle to end. And it's time for the new blessings and the new finances and this new you to take what you really deserve and what you dream and desire, okay? We also got the world card basically being upright. So that basically letting us know everything is coming out in fruition for you. But it's also some way that you are changing and it's steady moving for a new cycle for you, okay? Now, Virgo, let's go ahead and get a little bit more clarification on this. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Some will rise and open up the Anything else you want to say, Virgo? Some will rise and open up what else do we have for Virgo? I'm saying. All right, Virgo, here we go. Now, again, King of Wands energy. King of Wands basically being upright. You still got to understand you got the good vision. Be taking initiation. Take initiative and don't be egotistical and don't be protecting yourself and procrastinating, okay, Virgo? Now, you got to be able to express yourself the way that you need to with the Page of Swords basically being upright. Keep yourself enthusiastic. Keep that enthusiasm. Stay away from negativity or anything that you acknowledge that you know that is enslaving you. It's time for you to let that go and finally start seeing the light in recovery. Once you start seeing the light and recovery and you let this cycle in for you and this new offer will come in new cycles so it will brings out a lot of options a lot of options virgo when we talking about what's coming in huge this is what is coming in it can be new love it can be surprises it can be different type of energy or healing the kundalini it can be more of a tougher skin and people can't battle with you is first place in this is riches it is everything it's all up to you virgo it's basically all up to you to make this happen so this is the most beautiful thing that i see so far so let's go ahead and get a little bit more i want to get some healing messages and then i'm gonna pull out a spiritual message see what the spiritual uh what's coming in spiritually your way as well spirit guys angel universe what else do we have for Virgo? can i get a message i'm sure i wasn't trying to do that it's time to reflect on yourself virgo share your thoughts it's time to reflect let me get it right it is time to reflect on the things you need to reflect on okay now, this is dealing with the current energy that you got, even with the love of situation. Now, you need to share your thoughts. Write it down. Journal. Because this will help you within your challenges so you won't be more deceptive for anything in that type of nature. And now it's time for you to reveal your truth and take action with that vision and take an initiative what's going on towards this huge abundance of these options that's coming your way. So whatever you want is coming in fruition. And also, you got to be vigilant on this. Be very vigilant. Vigilant. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. Be very vigilant uh, on this situation, okay? And everything's going to come in beautiful. Let me go ahead and get some spiritual messages. I'm going to use the African-American tarot So on this one. And then I'll probably get a little bit more clarification with my Shaman tarot deck, okay? Now, Spirit Guys and the Universe, 
What is coming in from Virgo on a spiritual note? What is coming in from Virgo? Some of the you know the Venus on a spiritual note. I say. One more. I say. All right, Virgo, we got the King of Wands. So I feel like you're taking, a uh, taking initiative to start to see more. Or this is what Spirit is doing for you. They want you to see and understand what's coming in. Something that you harvest. Something that you sown. This can be something that from way back and it's coming in fruition. And it have ripened early for you. Uh, you have sown good fruit. Now, not only that, Spirit want me to tell you. Even though you may be climbing up a ladder with the four swords basically being upright. It's letting us know it's time for you to meditate. Keep escalating and climbing up that ladder for spirit and keep getting the knowledge that you need now not only that keep on seeking clarity you got the hermit card make sure you uh start seeking clarity within and start being a truth within yourself as you walking on your journey okay now not only that Keep on being ambitious. Keep that ambitious alive because you got uh, the King of Pentacles. So you got very stable stability coming in with you for finances, information, probably higher knowledge, and probably wealth as well as your well-being. Now, you also got to watch yourself with the Knight of uh, Cups basically being uh, right though. So this is basically letting me know that it's a message may be coming in, but you need to be more in tune with your emotions and be more in tapped in with yourself. Okay, Virgo? So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and work on brilliance this is brilliance i feel like the choices that you and the intuition that you have can help you change which this mudra right right here is teachers mudra or tihas mudra uh inner light that helps you in focus and radiance direct breath to the heart this is the benefit for your chest and ribs assist the immune system awakens and uplifts energy uh bend two bend the two index fingers softly touching them together bring the thumbs together facing upward spread the other fingers apart and wide hold the mudra in front of the heart and a few inches away from the body relax the elbows downward now if you got heart conditions and hypertension use this mudra as caution okay now i embrace the radiance brilliance of my loving heart i embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart one more time i gotta say that three times i embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get two affirmations. I say, let's get one more. Okay, this one is dealing with your health and well being. I am improving my health every day. I am improving my health every day, Virgo. And then we also got, I deserve a fantastic, radiant, brilliant, unlimited income. Okay, let's go ahead and say it again. I deserve a fantastic income. I deserve a fantastic unlimited income. I say, I say, I man, I'm on. I will have you want to say it. I'm going to claim it. So with that basically being said, Virgo, if you like everything that you heard, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And shout out to every one of you. Oh, this is what I need. Uh, I'm glad Spirit brought it to my attention. Uh, Tara H. I think it's Hombrick. I don't like saying real names like that, but T-H. You know who you are. Please look in the description box and text me, okay? Because that's very, very important. I need you to do that whenever you receive this message. Uh, personally, thank you, but it's this the only way I can get in communication with you, okay? So with that basically being said, I just want to go and close it out that I love you. God love you. The universe loves you. Just make sure you love yourself. And that's very most important. Hold on, I don't think I said that right. Let's do it again. I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Just make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel too. Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. If you want a personal reading, it's in the description box below. Then text. After you make a purchase, text or text before you making a purchase so I can know who you are so I can program you the way that it needs to be because it's been a lot of readings and I thank you for every single one of them but some of you have not been responding uh, sending the text so I can get back in contact and it's kind of hard through the other apps, okay? So, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I love every single one of you. Keep pushing forward. Keep being beautiful. Keep taking things step by step because I'm loving this light. 
everything that's coming in your way from abundance and finances, abundance and love. You also got you shining. You coming in the limelight for most of you. You being the star that you are and you just have re-blossomed from where you came from to now is beautiful. So peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. Until I see y'all beautiful souls till the next time, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Hit, hit. Now nah, I'm playing. Y'all make sure y'all have a blessed and beautiful day until I see y'all till the next time. Yeah.